Hey, welcome back everyone. Rob here from Ramp Studio Comics and in today's video I figured I would show you the time lapse and give you some tips on kind of what uh, I was doing as I went through this. Kind of show you the layer breakdown, go over some of the blending modes, just give you a little bit of insight into how you can paint something like this. <laughs> that was my pun. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so now let me try to explain a few of these uh, steps that I might take to paint something like this. So as you notice in the beginning, hopefully you notice, I started sketching at first, but then I went right to paint. So I blocked in the color. With a shot like this, it's pretty easy to do. It is, you know, block in the base color, sketch in some big fat lines of just an idea, and then start to cut inwards and refine. Uh, the other thing that's important, like when you start to work this way, if I toggle this off and I start to show you know the earlier versions of this is that you want to make use of like you know using the layers to be able to chisel certain things out so for instance as I started to work into these hands I quickly cut them away into their own layer and what this allows me to do is obviously lock the transparency of the uh, the layer that's the checkerboard that you see there uh, so what happens is that allows you to you know clean up your edges add highlights to the very edge it gives you all sorts of opportunities. The other thing is that you can actually work behind that layer. So it's almost like a reverse mask. So if I take that hand off and I put the uh, probably the last version of um, thing here, you could see that behind that hand, it's pretty crude. In fact, uh, over here you can see it better. See all that blurring from this part of the hand? These uh, Make sure I'm on this actual layer. It won't let me draw on it for you. Let's go on that layer. Grab a brush, set it to a color you can see. But notice all this is just really blurred out, okay? So what happens there is I actually, once I copied that other hand and placed it in front, I used that as a reverse mask and I started to paint behind it and pull information back. Now this isn't the latest shot of it, so you can see the difference from like right here to the very, uh, the very end like this. Uh, the other thing is I use blending modes a lot. Like I use multiply for darken most of the time. And notice the, you know, some of these are set to normal and that's the ends that you see there to the right. But then some have A's next to them. Uh, so basically A's are, you know, add or lighten add basically. So if I tap on that, I go to lighten, uh, you could see that it's set to add. And that's going to give me that kind of highlight kind of effect on top of everything. Uh, so I use add a lot of times for my highlights. I uh, even ended up introducing this final layer, which was a um, just a black, but if you go into that, it's actually saturation, and I turned the opacity way back. So I could control the saturation of this overly orange character that I was painting. So that was another kind of correction layer, or adjustment layer, or something like that. So, you know, you just kind of make these things work, but just keep that in mind that you know I'm segmenting things, I'm using them with lock transparency, I'm adjusting blending modes uh, to get various effects. Um, and that's really it, it's a, it's a lot of like um, moving things around. Now, one of the things I was able to do in this one because I recently added Liquify to uh, Procreate, which is amazing, but I actually did a, um, uh, a correction here. Let me show you that, if I can get back to it. Uh, let's see, where is it? That's the shadow right here. Okay, so what happened is as I was drawing the character out, I started to feel like the face was, you know, slumping. I always get this kind of slant work thing going on in my work I got to be aware of. And the face looked, um, you know, un or it looked asymmetrical. It didn't look symmetrical. And one of the ways that I correct things um, is I'll draw over it and I'll try to move things around that way. So it's like I'm basically creating a mask with the artwork. And then I'll move things around. Generally, I'll just repaint them to fit that layer. But with Liquify, you can actually just maneuver everything around. So you can go to, um, you might not be able to see it, but it's over under your uh, adjustments. And Liquify is down at the bottom of the, uh, the first series of tab or whatever the tab. Uh, so amazing for that because you can correct things uh, pretty dramatically. But yeah, so hopefully this is beneficial for you. I just wanted to be able to show you the layers, show you my messiness and how I work, and also show you the time lapse. So now just chime in below. Let me know if you have any questions, something I might have missed, and I'll you know be sure to cover that for you or uh, cover it in an updated video. 
So I appreciate everybody's support. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.